This planet was once home to giant birds that would tower over most other animals alive today. But tragically, the majority of these animals have been lost to time. Thankfully, there are still some giant flightless birds that still walk this earth. And these dinosaurs are the largest of their kind. In today's video, we'll be travelling around the world ranking each of the seven continents by their largest flightless bird. And we'll be ranking them based on their maximum weight in the wild. Unfortunately, not all of the continents are blessed with flightless birds. So to start off with, we'll have to cover the two areas where flightless birds are absent. Because flightless birds are mostly a southern hemisphere thing, it shouldn't be too much of a surprise that Europe and North America have no native flightless birds. Europe does have large populations of invasive and feral flightless birds such as the Great Area, and there were once true giants that roamed here. So-called giant ostriches could have weighed up to 500 kilograms, and it's believed to be the largest bird to have ever existed in the Northern Hemisphere. The Great Auk is another large bird that could have featured for both Europe and North America, but we humans brought about their demise in the 1840s. It's a similar story in North America with all of its flightless species being long gone, but I'm sure some people will be happy that there's no need to worry about bumping into the deadliest extinct birds of the Americas. The terror birds were once apex predators that could be found across North America and South America, and it's possible that some of the largest species could have hunted man. Most of these giants started to disappear around 2 million years ago, but as we'll get into a little later, they do have some relatives that are still alive today. If we could travel back in time, the Atitlan or giant grebe could have featured, but invasive species and natural disasters led to them being wiped out by the 1990s. There are quite a few birds across both continents that are very poor flyers but can actually fly, and it's a real shame that all of the truly flightless birds have been wiped out. Because the Atitlan grebe went extinct more recently, I've decided to rank North America higher than Europe. So Europe slots in at number 7, and North America takes the 6th place spot. Now we've gotten that out of the way, we can start to take a look at many of the beautiful flightless birds that are still with us. And we'll start off by travelling south. South America is home to a few different flightless birds that each play very different roles in their respective ecosystems, but one of the most distinctive species is found offshore. The flightless cormorant is endemic to the Galapagos Islands, and it's the heaviest cormorant alive today. It takes advantage of the lush waters that surround these islands, and it lives a very similar life to that of a penguin. Strangely, it does have to compete with a penguin in its day-to-day -day life, with the Galapagos penguin being another flightless bird that can be found here. This bird is the only penguin species that can be found north of the equator, and it's one of the smallest penguins in the world. These two animals are often spotted together, and they sometimes benefit from the other's hunting style. To find some of the larger flightless birds, you'll have to head over to the mainland, and if you head south, you'll find even more penguins. Many of the iconic Antarctic penguin species also inhabit South America, but there are a few species that are endemic to the continent. The Humboldt penguin lives along the Pacific coast of Peru and Chile, and it spends most of its days hunting schooling fish and squid. In some parts of their range, they share their habitat with a close relative in the Magellanic penguin, which is another species that's endemic to South America. These clumsy birds are full of character, and are sometimes spotted in large numbers on land where they dig their burrows. Even though these striking little guys are relatively large for a bird, they are dwarfed by another penguin species in their ecosystem, and it's one of the largest flightless birds on the continent. The king penguin is the second largest penguin in the world, with a maximum weight of around 18 kilograms. They mostly feed on fish, squid and krill, and they'll dive as deep as 300 meters to catch their desired prey. They can be found in giant colonies along the coasts of Patagonia, and their presence attracts certain predators such as orcas. The steamer ducks are a group of marine ducks that also share their homes with many penguin species, and all of them, apart from the aptly named flying steamer duck, are flightless. The two Sarima species are the last remaining members of an order that the terror birds were a part of, and they have a few behaviours that seem very terror bird like. Even though these birds are ground dwelling, they aren't flightless, so unfortunately, they have no place in this video. In some inland waters, you can find a few flightless water birds such as the giant coot and the Titicana grebe, but the largest birds on the continent are very much ground-dwelling species. 
The two rhea species are the largest birds in South America, with the greater rhea being the largest species. They can be found in a variety of different open habitats across their range, from grasslands to swamps and even deserts. In these areas, they mostly feed on plant matter, but when lizards and frogs appear in front of them, they are more than happy to try them out. The life of an adult rhea is far from carefree, as there are a few predators that you'll need to look out for. Wild dogs and the maned wolf will hunt them from time to time, but their main enemies come in the form of cats. Jaguars will hunt them in the areas where their ranges overlap, but their most common enemy is the cougar. To catch and kill a greater rhea, you not only have to be fast as they can run at speeds of up to 40 miles per hour, but you also need to have muscle as they can reach a maximum weight of around 40 kilograms. This size means that the greater rhea and South America slot in at number 5. And for our next section, we'll be heading somewhere much colder. Antarctica is mostly known for three groups of animals in particular, pinnipeds, cetaceans and flightless birds. Penguins are the most common birds in Antarctica, with some species being found in colonies with populations larger than cities. There are eight species of penguin that can be found in the Antarctic and subantarctic regions, but only two of them call the Antarctic mainland their home. The Adelie penguin is the most widespread penguin species, being found along the whole coast of the Antarctic continent. It's a master in the water, mostly feeding on krill and fish, but of course, like many others of its kind, it needs to keep an eye out for the formidable leopard seal and the even more terrifying orca. It's known for being a particularly feisty penguin species, often fighting potential predators and even researchers. This is despite the fact that it's the smallest penguin species that can be found in Antarctica, and this little bird really doesn't act its size. The Adelie penguin shares the Antarctic mainland with another endearing species, and it happens to be the largest penguin in the world. The emperor penguin is an incredibly hardy animal, as some of them spend their entire lives in fast ice environments, enduring some of the coldest temperatures on this planet. As well as being the largest, they are also the rarest of the Antarctic penguins, with an estimated population of around 220,000 breeding pairs. This population might not sound too bad at first, but climate change has had a massive effect on their numbers in recent years, as warmer temperatures melt the sea ice that they rely on. To be able to survive in such harsh conditions, they need to consume a lot of food, and in the water, they have a few impressive abilities that help them to catch their prey. They can dive to depths of around 565 meters, and they can stay under the surface for 30 minutes at a time. This allows them to catch enough fish, crustaceans, and cephalopods to reach a maximum weight of around 45 kilograms, which is around the same weight as a sun bear. The bulky emperor penguin means that Antarctica slots in at number 4, and there are few birds that rival its swimming prowess. Now the next two continents have the same largest flightless bird, but as I've decided to do in other videos in this series, I'm going to rank one continent higher than the other. I'll be judging both of the continents based on the other flightless birds that can be found there as well as the shared largest species. So to start off with, we'll be heading over to Asia. Now as we've already covered, flightless birds are mostly a southern hemisphere thing, so most of Asia's flightless birds are found in the south, and more specifically Southeast Asia. Now flightless birds have a pretty big weakness, and that's that they're very vulnerable to land predators. This is why most flightless birds have been discovered on remote isolated islands, and this also means that a large number of species have gone extinct in recent years. When invasive animals such as rats and cats are introduced onto isolated islands, the flightless birds are usually the animals that suffer the most. It's heartbreaking looking into how many distinctive birds have disappeared over the years due to invasive species, and this also explains why some of the flightless birds in more competitive ecosystems are real giants. Thankfully, there are still a few flightless rails that can be found on some of the Asian islands. And in New Guinea, if you're really lucky, you can spot some dinosaurs that don't look too dissimilar from their extinct relatives. There are three cassowary species alive today, with the southern cassowary being the largest and most well-known species. The southern cassowary is arguably the most dangerous ground-dwelling bird to humans, but in the vast majority of cases, if you respect them and give them space, then they'll choose to leave you alone. Their powerful kicks paired with their long sharp inner claws are a deadly combination, but there have only been two confirmed cases where cassowaries have killed humans. 
One of them dates back to the early 1900s, and the other was back in 2019 when a Florida man was killed by one that he was keeping as a pet. These birds almost exclusively feed on forest fruits and nuts, with many of these fruits being too toxic for other animals to process. Because of their fruity diet, they are mostly limited to the tropical rainforests, but they do like to stroll along the beach from time to time. Due to their size and their deadly kicks, fully grown individuals only really need to fear crocodiles, but despite this, their numbers have been declining in recent years. Habitat loss, hunting, and road collisions have massive effects on their numbers, and more needs to be done in the future if they are to bounce back. The southern cassowary is the largest flightless bird in Asia, as they can reach a maximum weight of around 85 kilograms. This quirky dinosaur slots Asia in at number 3, but as I've already covered, it's also the largest bird on our next continent. The reason I've decided to rank Oceania higher than Asia in this video is simply due to how many distinctive and large flightless birds can be found on the continent. Many of the small island nations boast weird and wonderful flightless birds that can't be found anywhere else in the world, and famously New Zealand has always been dominated by birds. The moas are an extinct group of flightless birds that once called New Zealand home, and the largest species could reach heights of around 3.6 metres. Of course, not all of the moa species were this large, and at one point in time, some of them were hunted by the largest eagle to have ever existed. Unfortunately, these giant birds are long gone, but there are still plenty of flightless birds that can be found here. The kakapo is the world's only flightless parrot, and these chubby birds have quite the personality. They are known for being naturally curious and will often approach humans, and conservationists working with these birds claim that they have distinct personalities. Unfortunately, the kakapo is critically endangered, with there being only around 237 of them alive today. Because of the many invasive species that have been introduced into New Zealand over the years, there are many other species that are in the same position as the kakapo. The South Island Takahi was once thought to have gone extinct before it was rediscovered, and this unique bird is the largest living member of the rail family. The kiwis have become some of New Zealand's most famous residents, and they are actually the smallest living ratites. This group also includes cassowaries, ostriches, and emus, but the kiwis are thought to be more closely related to the extinct elephant birds of Madagascar. The elephant birds are thought to have gone extinct around a thousand years ago, and the largest known species is thought to be the largest bird to have ever existed. It's hard to believe that these extinct giants would have much in common with the kiwi, but I guess looks can be deceiving, and kiwis do have a pretty impressive roar. Of course, there are many other distinctive land-dwelling birds here, such as the weka, and there are also a few penguin species that can't be found anywhere else in the world. Because New Zealand had no predatory land mammals for such a long time, its marine animals are known to travel far inland, such as the Fiordland penguins and the New Zealand sea lion. Just like New Zealand, Australia also has a few penguin species along its shores, with one of them being the smallest penguin in the world. The aptly named little penguin can be found in both Australia and New Zealand, and it's another bird that's been heavily affected by invasive species such as foxes. Thankfully, in some areas across their range, the locals have banded together to eradicate foxes on some islands, and this has helped them to bounce back in amazing ways. Along some of Australia's islands, you can find some flightless rails, but on the mainland, there's a giant bird that's won a war against man. The emu is the tallest bird on the continent, and it's the third tallest bird in the world. It's extremely adaptable, being found across the majority of Australia, and this giant range means that they need to adapt to a variety of different habitats. They communicate with each other using deep drumming booming sounds, and if you happen to hear a lot of these in quick succession, then it's likely that there's an emu nearby that's looking for a mate. The emu is sometimes targeted by the land predators that inhabit modern-day Australia, but you either need to be really fast or you need to have incredible stamina to catch them. They are capable of reaching speeds of up to 31 miles per hour, and they have a maximum weight of around 60 kilograms. All of the many flightless birds on the continent, as well as the southern cassowary, mean that Oceania comes in at second place. And if you haven't guessed already, next up is Africa. There are a wide variety of ground-dwelling birds in Africa, but most of these birds do have the ability to fly. 
because there are so many predators that are great bird hunters across the continent, flight is essential for birds that aren't able to fight back. This is unless you have another escape route such as jumping into the ocean, which the African penguins of the south coast are known to do when they spot danger. This is part of the reason why some of the only flightless birds in Africa are the largest birds in the world, and only the deadliest and fastest predators can target them. There are two ostrich species alive today, the Somali ostrich and the common ostrich. The best way to tell these two species apart is to look at the skin and the feathers of the males, as the Somali ostrich is also known as the blue-necked ostrich, as it has a blue-grey colour to its skin instead of the pink of the common ostrich. The common ostrich is the larger of the two species, with some of the largest specimens reaching weights of around 157 kilograms. This bird is the fastest bipedal animal, as they can run at speeds of up to 43 miles per hour over short distances. Even if a predator is able to catch up with them, they still need to face their rib-shattering kicks, and this is why most predators leave them alone. An ostrich that's detected a predator is almost impossible to catch and take down, so most successful ostrich hunters have to catch them off guard. This is a lot harder than it sounds as ostriches have excellent vision, with them possessing the largest eyes of any land animal. Really no other bird, flightless or not, comes close to the common ostrich, and that's why Africa easily takes the top spot. Of course there are a few other beautiful flightless birds that I couldn't quite fit in so if you think you know of any then let me know down below. But for now thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.